Ladies and gentlemen, I want to welcome you to Game Day Squad's Women's Aussie Rules Draft. And I've turned up the heat in this one. I have two very special guests with me today to draft. Firstly, I've recruited Jaden Popowski, Mr. Statistics himself, to join the snake draft we're about to do. Mate, let us let everyone know a little bit about yourself and what you do. Hi, Tom. Great to be here. Keen for today, and we'll see what happens. Um, yes. But yeah, my, name, my name's Jaden Popowski. Um, I'm a stats man, I guess, on... Absolutely. You get a link down below the description. Click on that. Go to his channel. Give it a like. Get around to all the great stuff he does. I'm a bit nervous to draft against him, guys, because he is the king of statistics himself. So big shoes to try to uh, ma match up with him. But secondly, and most certainly not least, I've recruited my boy Fry from Sports by Fry to join this stacked draft pool. Mate, tell everyone a little bit about yourself. Thanks for having me, Tommy. Yeah. Uh... First time, long time. I've been following a, a lot of the game day squad stuff uh, since its inception. So I'm glad to be uh, part of the AFLW draft. My AFLW uh, knowledge is lacking somewhat. Uh, I've been riding with the Dream Team boys for about five years now on their website. And I've been doing my own stuff on Sports by Fry across all social medias. Got my own website and own blog, my own opinionated bits and pieces. So I have turned it from a part-time hobby into something that's... Uh, a little bit more serious so i'm very keen to uh not only get stuck into the draft but also hopefully learn a thing or two from you and Jaden today <laughs> oh, mate that is awesome and everything again will be down below in the description for fry go give him a follow all the great stuff that he's doing in the fantasy community but fellas today we're going to be completing a snake draft we're going to be building out a full starting game day squad team how does that sound are we ready to go yeah, let's get it. Okay, good, good, good. Now, the order is going to be decided how all professional teams do in a simple game of scissors, paper, rock. Just my stream here. So I think we just go scissors, paper, rock. Someone takes out all three. You get the first. We'll go second, third, and then, of course, we snake back. So you get the double pick if you're last. Then go through. All right, are we ready? Yep. Who's up? Who's up first? <laughs> all of us. We just go all, all three for all. trio. Oh, I guess the yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, scissors, paper, rock. Oh, well, I'm out. All right, last oh, pick. All good. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> you guys match it up for the number one pick. This is big. Here we go. All right, count us in, Tom. All right, scissors, paper, rock. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yes. Jaden, you've got to be happy with that, mate. You've just secured the number one pick in Gando Squad's draft. How are you feeling? I'm absolutely stoked with that. Um, yeah, by looking at my pre-draft rankings, I'm sure everyone can probably guess who's sitting at number one. All right, Jaden, you have secured the first pick. As we just mentioned, you're now on the clock. You've got to make your, your first pick of the uh, 2023 Game Day Squad Aussie Rules Draft. No pressure here. Plenty of players to choose from, but who are you going to go? Um, yeah. Stoked to have this number one pick. It's a great opportunity to pick a, you know, absolute gun of the competition. Um, so we'll be starting it off with the highest averaging player from last season, Kiara Bowers. Are you sure? You don't have to. You can change your mind if you want. That's up to you. I'll give you one chance. Oh, I think I think I'll, I'll stick yeah, with that. No, you're yeah, you're set. Yeah, I thought so. Okay, that's yeah. all good. I <laughs> thought I might try my luck. You never know. You never know. That's a great first pick. I'm going to assume anyone that was going to draft uh, would have taken that as number one. Absolute chat of the competition. and has been for a while, so, you know, credible. You know what you're getting there. But Fry, mate, that leaves you with pick number two. Big decision to make here. You're now on the clock. Hmm. I think with the second overall pick, I will be drafting Ebony Marinoff. Uh, obviously, the points are in the midfield, and Marinoff scores from last year speak for themselves. Average 133, just behind Kiara Bowers. So hopefully, uh, she can outscore uh, the Frio legend this season. 
And I might just give you the same opportunity. Are you sure you want to make that pick? Because you know, I I don't know. I think so. Know. There are some there are some tempting names, uh, but I'm I'm going to need a, a captain option each week. So if I can't yeah. have Bowers, then Marinoff's a pretty good pick. Yeah, second best average from 2022, of course. Absolute jet. I'm only asking was taken, having a bit of a laugh because I wanted both of those players and I've been stitched up with the third overall pick. So great pick. We'll move it on. Now I'm on the clock to make my decision. All right, my pick is in. The third overall pick in game day squads, women's Aussie rules draft. I'm taking Marinoff's teammate. Going Annie Hatchet with the third overall pick. Going to pick it up. Had a weapon year last year. Super good average, and uh, yeah, gonna have a cracker season uh, 2023 as well. So happy with that. Now I go back to back though. This is the beauty of it. So I'm now on the clock again. I'll be uh, I'll check in soon. My next pick. Pick is in the fourth overall pick. I'm taking out the second spot in my starting team. I'm gonna go young gun. Am I? Yeah, Alice Parker from the GWS Giants. Mm. Gonna lock that one in. Two middies off the back with the back-to-back -back picks. Pretty happy with that. And now, Fry, you are on the clock. Well, you've given me some time to think, and there's a couple of names still really tempting on the board, but I think I'm going to... Oh, yeah, I'm going to lock in Georgie Prasparkas. Uh, as someone who's been a very fringe AFLW fan, I still know who Georgie Prasparkas is, and she's been dominating... Uh, with Geelong, obviously averaged 110 plus last year. So hopefully she can uh, maintain that in season 2023. Goodness, great pick. Great pick up there. Jaden, that means you're now on the clock. Sixth pick of the draft and you're going to have the back-to-back -back here. So it could be some strategy implemented. I'm excited to see who you go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I forgot about, forgot about the double pick. Um, I, th I think I'm going to pull a similar strategy here and take another mid. But I am very tempted by my rankings to, you know, to sway flick around another swerve. position, you know, a bit of depth. Um, I'm going to lock in Jasmine Garner. Gosh. Good choice. Good choice. I was humming and ahhing. It's going to take Garner as well, but that hurts. Hopefully, I was thinking there's a chance she could slide, but no, not with Jaden in the house. He's got too many stats up. No one falling here, but back to back, mate. Number seven in this draft. Where do you go from here? All right, I'm back here with pick seven. Back-to-back -back picks makes it interesting, but I'm going to double down in the midfield, get another big premium Ooh. player. So I'm going to pick Emma Swanson with pick seven. Ooh. Oh, choice. Choice, choice. That means we've moved on. Pick number eight of the draft. Fry, you are now on the clock, mate. We'll check in with you soon for your pick. All right, I think I'm. Um, I think I'm pretty good. I think uh, there's a lot of points obviously available in the midfield, and there's a lot of midfielders still up for grabs. But considering the fact that I've got one Prasparkas, I may as well grab a second Prasparkas and grabbed Maddie from the Bombers, uh, and that gives me three really trustworthy midfielders that I know week in week out are hopefully going to uh, get the job done. All right, fellas, I'm ready. Got the back-to-back -back picks, but with my first one. Only midfielders have come off the board. I'm going to break that mould here. I think it's, start, it's, it's, it's time sorry, to start diving into some other positions. And the first one's going to be Emma Kearney. I'm going to take her with my ninth pick. But I have the 10th pick. And you know, what do I do from here? Do I go back to the midfield? I say no. I'm, I'm ruining this mould. And I'm going to excuse my pronunciation if I get this wrong. But Ruby... Schleiner, Schleicher? Schleicher. I'm going to go with that. I'm so sorry if I've uh, fumbled that. I probably have. Okay, so yes, I've taken two defenders. Back-to-back -back picks. Gone two defenders on the board there. I'm feeling good about it. Feeling really good. Two guns in their positions. Proven stars. So, Fry, that means you're now on the clock, and we'll check in with you in a second to see who you pick. You stole Kearney right from me, Tommy. I wanted to uh, pounce on the <laughs> North Melbourne veteran, but instead I'm going to... Flip it and go to the forward line. I'm going to draft Demon Skipper Kate Four. I need a little bit more uh, depth in positions outside of the midfield, so I'm going to start with Kate Four and hopefully build out my forward line from there. All right, it's great to be back with double up picks here, and um, like you guys, I will be branching out into different positions. Um, so 
with my first pick of these two, I'm going to pick Charlotte Thomas from the West Coast Eagles. Eligible as a forward in game day squad. It's very, very valuable. And, um, yeah, I think she'll be sensational in the forward line. And then Beautiful. with... With my, with my next pick, I'm going to go into the forward line again. Um, this one's a bit of a personal favourite. Plenty of marks, plenty of kicks and goals, which is what you want in game day squad. So I'm going to pick Georgia Garnett from the GWS Giants. Great picks. Gone back-to-back, -back, two forwards. Interesting there. I don't think I was expecting that before your back-to-back -back pick. But Fry, that leaves us with you on the clock to make your next pick. All right, I'm ready to go with the, uh, what are we, fifth pick for uh, my squad. I've just drafted a D's forward, so why don't I grab another one? I'm going to be picking Taylor Harris, who his name is synonymous with AFLW. Scoring may be a bit volatile, but I'm hoping she can kick enough snags for me to uh, put up a winning score each week. All right, with my first pick of the back-to-backs, I'm going Amy McDonald. I'm picking up another midfielder. That'll be three mids, two defenders now. And with the back-to-back -back pick, I'm going to be taking the first of this position in the draft. If you know a little bit about me, you know I love my Ruckman. You know I ride with English Gang. So why don't I start a new one? It's Moody Gang. Carlton's Ruckman. Let's go. I'm going to pick up what I think is the best Ruckman in the comp. So I'm hoping I just secured number one Ruck for the year with that pick. But that now leaves. Fry, you're on the board. and We'll check in with you soon for your next pick. Okay, I've got midfielders, I've got a couple of forwards. I now need to start to address the back line. So I'm going for Bulldogs rebounding machine, Katie Lynch. Hopefully uh, she can have a lot of plus sixes back there to uh, keep its scores churning over. Beautiful pick, first defender as well. So I had to plug it in, got it done. Well done. For Jaden, that means you're now on the clock. You've got the back-to-back -back picks here. Interested to see the strategy you do again. Wasn't expecting what happened last time. You're going to throw some more curveballs at us. Gosh, I'm trying to, trying to get my picks in. Ooh, yes. Um, I'm very tempted. I also have no defenders as well. Um, so it's where I am leaning at the moment. So, yeah, I guess with my first one here, I'll be taking Eilish Sheeran from Richmond. Second season. Oh. Debut season, last season. Very good player. And I think she can do it again. Yep. Um, I've got my rankings right here. Um, I'm, I'm going to go in defense again. Um, and pick oh. pick Jordy Allen from the Pies. Um, and that'll be my second defender. Beautiful. Two defenders, see what? You go four middies, two forwards, now two defenders. The strategy is on point. I love it. But that means, Bright, you are now on the clock for your next selection. It's tempting to pick another midfielder, but I think with the premium defenders being snapped up, I need to turn my attention back to the back line. And with uh, the seventh pick, I will be taking Madison Gay from the Demons. Got a Melbourne theme going on at the moment, so why not stick with it? Back-to-back -back picks. Haven't taken a forward yet in this draft. So I had a look at the draft board. Was thinking, what do I do? I need to potentially pick one up. Because as you said before, Fry, you need some depth. It's not just about stacking up with the highest average players. You need overall squad depth. But I'm throwing that out the window. I'll just be honest with you. I'm going a defender. Although I need a forward, my... my uh, the owner of my uh, team behind me screaming at me saying, what the hell are you doing? Get a forward. I'm disregarding. I'm going Lauren Butler. Good dynasty player, 22 years old, and super excited for the season she is about to have. I think she's going to be a jet. And then you're probably thinking, all right, you, your manager's behind you. He's screaming at you. This is where he gets a forward. No, we don't. We don't. I want a veteran. I want someone who's going to plug into my back line, score really well. It's, it's almost a lock. It's Bianca Jacobson taking her with my next pick, going two defenders back to back, and I'll quickly speak to management behind the scenes now and just calm them down because they are not happy with no forwards. But that means, Brian, mate, you are now on the clock. Let's see who you pick. 
All right, boys, here comes the first reach of the draft. And here's a Brisbane player who I think, with a couple of players leaving in the offseason, is really going to pop this year. A forward, I'm going to be drafting Sophie Conway. Now, she only averaged about 66 game day squad points last year, but I think if the midfield time's there and she pushes up the ground a bit more, then obviously has her hands near the footy, then uh, it should equate to a lot more points. So, yeah, I'll take Sophie Conway. Love it. In for a big year. Yeah, that role change, as you said. But, Jaden, you're now on the clock, mate. You've got the back-to-back -back picks again. We'll check in with you in a second, see who you go. All right, yep. I've had a long think about this one. Thinking about squad structure, thinking about depth. Um, I'm surprised she's still on the board. And it's a key forward. Picking Bonnie too good from the Bombers. Yeah. Very... Very happy with that one. She's highly rated on my rankings here based on positional depth, so I'm stoked to get her this late and I didn't think she would last another round. And then with my next pick, I'm gonna go back to the midfield. I'm, I'm feeling a bit feeling a bit um, trigger happy here um, and <laughs> I'm, go I'm gonna pick. Charlie Rowbottom from the Gold Coast Suns. Definitely a favourite. And yeah, it's great to have four mids locked away. I'm tempted to side with another midfielder, but I still think there's some value to be had in the mids. And I do need to address some other areas. So I, uh, I'm a bit cautious because I swear I heard that uh, this player is dealing with a couple of injury woes. So that may... Uh, leads to a severe mishap, but I'm still going to draft Ebony Antonio out of the Fremantle Dockers. I know that she did her knee last year, only played the two games, but hopefully if she does have a clean bill of health, then she can uh, be an impactful player for the large fries and coke. Got the back-to-back -back picks here, fellas. As you know, no forwards yet. I think it's time to rectify that. Had a chat with management after my last round, and uh, they said they were going to fire me if I didn't take the forward. So I've reconsidered. We're going to key forward. Jackie Depew. De Depew? I think that's how you pronounce it. From the Gold Coast Suns. Going to lock it in. My first forward of my team. So it's going to have to do some heavy lifting in all honesty. But I thought I'll get you a companion up there. And there's no better team to go to than the mighty Sydney Swans. So going to have to take a local player. Laura Gardner is coming off the board. Going back to back forwards. Stoked about that, and now management can get off my case because, yeah, it was a bit rough there for a second, fellas. But, Fry, you're on the board now, mate. Where do you go? Continuing with the uh, overall balanced approach, I need another defender to keep uh, the squad in check. So I think I'm taking yep. Brianna Conan. Conan? Conan from the Brisbane Lions. Uh, one of the yep. league leaders in marks last year, so hopefully she can uh, get churn out plenty of plus sixes. Choice, choice, but Jaden, now you're back to back. You've done some radical moves here with the back to back previously, and I'm scared what's about to happen. So take it away, mate. I'm, Who are you yeah, taking? I'm stoked with those picks because I was nervously waiting here. Um, I'm going to pick with my next one. I'm going to go to the forward line again. I'm going to pick Ella Roberts, up and coming rising star. Wow. I'm stoked yes, with that oh one. That's my next one. Great. I thought I'd slide it one more. Great marking player. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with that one. Josh, that stings, Fry. That stings. Let's have a look at that as well. I know you just said you were, but that means Jaden gets another pick still, so you can hurt us again. Where do you go here, mate? Um, ooh, it's tough. I'm thinking I probably need another defender. I don't think I can punt all the way with four slots remaining. So I'm going to pick, um, I believe, the Port Adelaide captain, Ange Foley. Back to back there. Great picks. Fry, now you're on the clock. We'll check in with you in a second. We'll see who you're taking. No pressure. I'm ready, mate. I'm uh, good to oh, go. Boom. I've had a bit of time to think. I did uh, contemplate waiting because I know that you already have a ruck uh, in your lineup, but I don't want to let Alice Edmonds slide anymore. So led the competition in hit outs last year. I knew that Jaden would probably snipe me and take her if I let her slide one more. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I'll lock in the big dog. Pun intended. Oh, you saw Jaden's yeah. face there. 
I reckon he had it on the next turn. He would have gone the back-to-back -back with a Ruckman in there somewhere, but that does mean you don't need to reach yeah. now. You can play this very interesting. Mm. You, can, uh, you can wait, sit back, and take a this, Ruckman with your last spot. It's definitely part of part of my thinking. It was either get Edmonds or just be able to sit back and relax and, you know, not have any pressure in the Rucks department. So um, I'm yeah. kind of glad the decision was made for me, to be honest. <laughs> You're welcome, mate. I can smell a bit of cap there, ladies and gentlemen. Fry's rattled him. He's got no idea what to do now. <laughs> He's lost in the sauce. <laughs> but now it's me, my back-to-back -back picks, and uh, yeah, we'll see who I go. But I've got a big decision to make here. Alrighty, back-to-back -back picks. Here we go. First one I'm going to be taking off the board. I'm taking Vicky Wall from North Melbourne as a forward. Going to get myself another forward. Make that three now. Rounding out the squad a little bit. And then I'm going to have to take someone who's close to home. A uh, little broski from back in the day. It's Ali Dalloway from the GWS Giants. Taking out my fourth midfielder spot. East Coast Eagles represent. Same with Garnett. Have to have to put it out there. But right, that means turn's done. You're on the clock. Well, I got the uh, big Bulldogs ruckman last round, so I'm going to grab the player who will feed, hopefully, off a lot of Alice Edmonds' hitouts in Ellie Blackburn. Arguably my, like, favourite player to watch in AFLW. Premiership skipper, averaged a fraction under 100 last year, so hopefully she can uh, revert back to the norm and get to triple figures in 2023. Beauty pick. Love the, love the thought process there as well. You've got the Ruckman feeding it down. It's just points on points, stacking up. But Jaden, you're now on the clock, mate. You've got the back-to-back, -back, as you know, so take it away. All right, back for two more picks. I'm looking to bolster up the depth in both defender and forward, so one of each. First up, I'll be taking Daria Bannister in the forward line from the Bombers. Pretty good average last year. And I've nearly finished my yep. forward line, which is absolutely exciting. And... I'll go straight into the next one with um, Elizabeth Keeney from Gold Coast Suns. Uh, should should get good value there as well. Ooh, there we go. Back to back, Fry. You're now on the clock, mate. Where do you go here? I've had a theme going with sticking with a lot of teammates. So my back line consists of a couple of Bulldogs, Melbourne players, Brisbane players. So I'll stick with another Brisbane player. And my next pick will be Natalie Greider. Uh, averaged pretty solid last year, right up there with the top bunch of defenders. And at 23, hopefully, she can just up the ante a little bit again this year. Good pick. Good pick. Leaves me on the clock. I'm stoked. Well, we said just before that pick that I had someone lined up. It was a must-get for me. And I was super nervous that you are going to take it because you've been sniping some of my picks all day, it feels like. But welcome to the squad, another defender, Lucy Mikavoy from the Sydney Swans. Had to go with another Swanee there. Yeah. Beautiful pick. Pretty surprised yeah. it's still on the board, to be honest. So grateful, grateful I could get it uh, this late in the draft. I feel like that's one of my better value ones I've taken so far. But uh, I'm going to have to strategize for this next one. We'll check back in with you in a second. Picks in. Going to rectify my forward or lack of forward depth. Going Hannah Munyard from the uh, the Crows. Taking another Crow. I think it's going to be a great pick. Good forward line option as well. Should be very solid this year. Super excited for that prospect. But that's going to round up my back-to-back. -back. And Fry, you're now on the clock, mate. I think I'm going to stick with the same team, to be honest. I've uh, obviously had a pretty consistent theme going on. And I think... My next pick will be Daniel Ponta from the Crows. Another forward, still relatively young. So hopefully she can uh, produce a little bit more. And that leaves me with a pretty pretty content with how my forward line looks. Still need one player to fill it out, though. Repeat. Right, we're back. Two more picks. I'm looking to finish off some lines. First up, I'm going to pick Tani Evans in defence from GWS. Should be pretty solid. And let's go Let's go back into the midfield. I want to finish it off. I know there's some value there, but 
Um, I, I do really want one more. So I'm going to pick Ali Anderson from the Brisbane Lions. Should be pretty good. A few departures at the Lions, so I think she can maintain her average. Beautiful. Fry, you're on the clock, mate. It's a pointy end of the draft. This is where, you know, your match winners, your big Grand Slam picks are taken. Are you ready to hit us with one of those? Oh, I'd like to say yes, but I wouldn't say it with a lot of confidence. Uh, you know what? These, these drafts are all about fun, right? So I'm also going to finish off my midfield with another one of my personal favourites. Uh, there's still a lot of other midfielders that will probably score higher on a more consistent basis, but I just love watching Nina Morrison. So I'll take her and plug her in as my fifth midfielder. Uh, if she was available in other positions, I probably would have drafted her a bit earlier, but I'll pick her to uh, round out the midfield. First one I'm going to lock in. Alison Drennan from the Gold Coast Suns. It's going to round off my midfield here. That's now five for me. I've got my ruck spot uh, filled up as well, so we're looking dangerous in there. Engine room is ready to go for the season. And then the next pick, I'm going to go to the Western Bulldogs. Going to get myself another defender. Eleanor Brown, welcome to my squad. That's my back-to-back -back picks. Brian, mate, that does leave you on the clock. Check in with you in a second. So I still need one defender and one forward, but I think I'm going to address the forward line first. Go with a brand new St Kilda Saint, former Brisbane goal kicking specialist in Jesse Wardlaw. Oh, okay. Yeah, that rounds out rounds out the forward line. I'm happy with that. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. I'm going to round out the defenders with my next pick. I'm going to pick Libby Birch from the Demons. Okay. And with my second pick, I'll take Courtney Hodder from the Brisbane Lions. That'll finish out my forward line, which leaves one spot remaining in the ruck when it comes back around. Oh, ho. Could wait on the Ruckman. Very smart, of course. Knew you didn't have to rush it. So, love that pick from you. Choice. But, Fry, that leaves you on the clock. Who are you going to take with this round? Uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to draft Libby Birch, but her name was called out uh, a couple of picks ago. So, I will yes. pivot. And I'm tossing up between a pair of St. Kilda defenders. I think I'm going to go Hannah Priest. I'll lock her into my uh, back line. Okay. Beautiful. I'm on the clock. I actually know who I want for my first one. I'm not too sure who I want on the turn, but I just might take it away. Um, very surprised she's still on the board. Good prospect. Going to have a fantastic season this year. Sabrina Frederick, welcome to my forward line. Very happy with that pick, and I'm going to check in with a second, speak to management, and see who we're going to take with my final one of the draft. With my last pick in this draft, rounding it all off, Last but certainly not least, of course, Chantel Emerson. Going to take her last defender spot there. Fellas, I've wrapped up my draft. That leaves you two with the picks left. Fry, you're now on the clock, mate. Who are you going to go with? I'll also finish off uh, the back line. Banking on a player who's going to have a third-year breakout, I hope. Uh, probably not on a lot of people's radars, but I'm going with Amy Smith from North. Had 17 tackles in an elimination final against the Cats last season, so... I'm hoping that she can ride that momentum and keep putting up points in a hurry. We're looking at the form guide. Love it. Some good form. Riding it into this season. It's going to be a cracker. And uh, certainly no pressure on this pick, Jaden. You know, you've probably been sitting on this one for a while now. You're wrapping up your squad with yeah. your Ruckman. Are you going to go? Yeah, I've had this one sitting there for a while. Almost too long that I second guess myself. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to pick Gabby Seymour from Richmond. Pretty solid. Pretty yeah. happy that I get a top three ruck with the final pick of the draft. Yeah, spot on. Had a great season seven in the AFLW. So, great pick. But that wraps us up for the draft. So, what I think we do now is we'll quickly pull up each person's team one by one. And in the comments section down below, I want you all giving us your thoughts on who's built the best squad and give some predictions on some sleeper picks that we had throughout I already know mine's the best, so you can just vote for me. But if you want to vote for the others, 
for sympathy reasons. I guess you can. I guess. <sighs> but alrighty, that wraps us up. Game day squads, women's Aussie rules draft. That was a banger. Cheers for hopping on, fellas. I appreciate the time that you put in. As we re reiterated, sorry, before, check out all their stuff down below in the description. We have their channels, links, everything. Give them a follow. Get around it because it's some bloody good content. But, Jaden, anything you want to leave the listeners with? Look, um, I'm kind of disappointed that I have to go back to my normal team now. I'd love to take that team into <laughs> round one of Game Day Squad, but I've still got a lot of work to do on squad building. So, yeah. Plenty to go, ready for round one, but I'm stoked with that draft. Yeah, totally agree. Back to reality, hey? You've got to look at your squad and then think, gosh, all those weapons I just picked up, I can't play them all, I don't have any cards yet. So true. But Fry, mate, as well, appreciate the time that you put in coming on to the YouTube channel. Cheeky debut. Love to see it, mate. Hopefully you'll be, or both of you will be here a lot more, but Fry, anything you want to leave everyone with today as well? Well, I said I wanted to learn a lot today and while I, I reckon I've got a lot of my favorite players I know that uh, I don't necessarily have the the best players in my lineup so there's a lot of popular names that were talked out there through the back line and the forward line some characters who I definitely need to do a bit more digging into to find out how I can get them into my game day squad before the season starts in just over a week in September 1st right Exactly right. Super, super exciting. Yes, I can't wait for the season to start. It's going to be the best one yet. You can guarantee that, and especially with now the Game Day Squad game launched, you're going to have even more fun tuning in. Make sure you're watching all the games and getting down to one if you can, because as I mentioned, it will be the best season yet, and I can't wait to rip in in just over a week. How bloody exciting. But again, appreciate all your time. Thank you, thank you so much if you have made it this far in the video smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here because we have so much more great content coming out for you but appreciate your time everyone and we'll catch you later cheers